Hello, this is a short podcast on how to build the pharmacokinetics model using Vensim. What I've done here in Vensim is I've asked to create a new model and most of the time you'll get a window like this. If you don't, sometimes it'll just jump you right into the, the model settings. I'm going to click on OK and that will take me to the, the new settings. So here I am and what I want to do is very similar to what you might do in the Stella programming language. Please pay attention to you have different variable names up here. So what I want is a box variable. So what I'm going to say here is drug in the stomach. This is going to give me my box. Uh, then I want my drug in, in the blood. And again, that's going to give me my box. I'm going to come grab a rate. And I'm going to click in the middle of that and drag over. And that is called get absorbed. And I'm going to grab a rate. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say take the drug. This is very similar to what I did in, in Stella. Drug in the blood, drag out. Okay. Get excreted. So you should be seeing here that this is very, very similar to what you would do using the Stella language for the little circles in Stella, I'm going to grab a variable. So for example, here I have the absorption constant. And then I would have the absorption rate. And to get my arrows, I have my arrows. And I would drag those just like I do in Stella. I can go to move size. I can grab the little circle here and move these around. Again, I can move everything around just like I would do uh, using the Stella language. So this should be very similar to what we did in Stella. Very similar type of, of interface. interface. Okay, so there's the, the start of the, of, the, of the model, and then you would continue just like you would do in, in Stella. Um, to define things, uh, what I would do first is I would get all of my structure in. Then you need to come and click on equations, and notice how everything turns black. You would, for example, if you want to put things in here, you would click on drug in the stomach, and your initial value goes right there, so we have no... Uh, drug in the, in the stomach at the beginning, say OK. To define an equation, you would click on whatever you need to define an equation on. And notice the variables are down here, so I would click on absorption rate times the drug in the stomach, just like you did with, um, with Stella, and say OK. Um, absorption rate in this case is a constant. I think that was 1.8. And then we say OK. Uh, again, here's a calculated value absorption rate was 0.693 divided by the absorption constant and say OK there. Um, and you would proceed just like you would uh, regularly. Um, one difference with this model is for the pulse function up here, we have to define what's called a shadow variable. And so I'm going to come click down here, and that's going to be a time step. And I'm going to say OK there. I better put all of the, uh, the things I need here. I needed dosage. I needed the interval. I needed my size of the pills. I needed my number of pills. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and show how those are connected. And those go up into here, this goes up into here, and time step comes down to here as well. Okay, now when I go to define things, I'm going to define take the drug. And the drug is the, the take the drug is going to be defined as dosage times, and you're going to come use a similar uh, function that you used in Stella. I'm going to use pulse train. And it gives you some clues here as to what you want. I'm going to start at time zero. Okay, my duration is going to be time step. Okay, my repeat time is going to be interval. And for my end here, I'm just going to put a big number because I don't ever want it to, um, 
uh, I put a big number in there so it runs the entire time. And now what I need to do is I need to divide all of that by the time step to make the units come out right. So that looks a little different than what you would see in Stella. So dosage times pulse train started time zero. Uh, my duration is time step. Uh, do it every interval. Uh, 9999 means run it the entire time the model's running. Divide all that by time step and then click on OK. So what this model should look like, let me go and find, I won't save this model. Okay, so there's what my, there's what my model, my model looked like. All right, to, uh, to build a graph, okay, so this is what my model looks like. To build a graph, I'm going to go up under control panel. I'm going to go to graphs. I'm going to delete this graph here. Okay, so I'm going to, so what I'm going to do here is I want a new graph. Um, I'm just going to call this concentration graph. I don't need to put a title on for the x-axis. Uh, what I want on my x-axis, just like in Stella, is I want time. Okay, for my y-axis, which is down here, what I want here is my drug concentration. I want my ED50, and I want my LD50. And I'm going to click on these checkboxes here. That'll make the graph look a little cleaner. And I want to scale this from a Y of 0 to a Y of 75. And I'm going to do that. I'll do that for all three, just like you would do in Stella. And then say OK. So I'm done creating my graph. I would close that. To insert that in here, I go up here where it says I.O. object. I come down, click on the, on the screen. I want to output a custom graph, and the one I want is my concentration graph, and say OK. And then when I run my graph, oops, I forgot to do something. I got to go up under model and do my settings. So I want to, oh, I did do it. I want my model settings from 0 to 240 hours. I want my time step at something like, uh, we probably do 0.25. Uh, my units are in hours. I want Runga Kutta, just like in Stella, say OK. Okay, and now I can go up here and, and run my simulation, and I would say yes, and there's what I get. Okay, so for the Stella model, let me move that over. I think we had number of pills was, was three. Okay, the size of the pills was 200, and the interval was every six hours. So once I change those, I can run it again. It'll keep asking me to overwrite the data. I say yes. And there I got the same graph that I got with the Stella model. So building this in VenSim is very, very similar to what you would do in Stella. A few minor changes there. And I hope that helps. Thank you very much.